Yan Song is the director of the Program on Chinese Cities at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I asked her about the obstacles to urban planning in Beijing. In my view, the um, population and uh, employment densities are not that high in downtown Beijing comparing to other Asian downtowns, such as in Tokyo, Hong Kong, um, or Seoul. But those downtowns are not facing those kind of um, uh, level of uh, uh, air pollution or uh, crowding or congestion. Um, so to some extent, I would argue those problems are caused by disordered layout of land uses, uh, super street blocks, lack of um, uh, effective urban management practices. So in this plan, the uh, uh, plan calls for the uh, uh, upgraded public transit. Uh, they also encourage multimodal transportation system. Uh, they want to uh, reconfigure street blocks, and they are calling for design of urban management strategies. And all those together, I would argue, no doubtly, they would um, um, help alleviate many of the urban problems um, that they mentioned in the plan. Mm -hmm. So experts say this blueprint is the first step. What are some other steps you think are needed? Right, so uh, just coming back to the urban spatial structure, they're talking about a structure with one central city housing the uh, uh, capital core functions, um, a city subcenter, and 10 suburban um, centers. Uh, the, this is sort of one step uh, being uh, planned out in the blueprint um, for, for a polycentric urban spatial structure. And it is the right direction to go because uh, um, for a mega city such as Beijing with 22 million population, um, polycentric um, sort of uh, the, uh, the structure would be more effective in organizing the uh, daily functions in the city. Um, I do have two points to make, though. Um, so the first is that uh, the concept of self-sustained um, subcenter, especially the sub suburban subcenter, uh, where people can live, work, and attain in the same place is not going to happen. Which leads to my second point, um, in, in which that uh, the city needs to have coordinated transportation plan to make this polycentric city to happen. And that comes back to your second question in terms of what are the next steps. So for the next steps, I, the, uh, the city would need to make a lot of additional plans and uh, um, strategies. The blueprint is just the first plan laying out the growth visions and directions for the next 20 years. But for that to happen, for that urban spatial structure to happen, they would need to draft a detailed blueprint. They would have to make coordinated and integrated transportation and environmental protection plan. They would also have to design a lot of uh, urban management strategies and measures to um, uh, implement all these uh, plan elements. They would also need to set up uh, designing standards. Um, so I would say there will be a lot of additional work for my uh, um, planner friends in Beijing. You know, just a lot of uh, additional work, a lot of late nights. So uh, my uh, best wishes to them uh, and uh, you know, big congratulations to all the great work that has been done so far.